Oh my gosh. Oh man. This shit just got real. There it is again. What is, is that? It might be some kind of basketball game. Right? Um. We have to. Right? I thought it was kind of like one of those pitching things for baseball. I'm not entirely sure myself. I don't know, for some reason that cracks me up every time the little people fall down the chute and it plays that crazy music. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Vin Diesel composed the music for this game himself, by the way. Oh yeah, of course. I mean, he... Vin Diesel is the... soul... <laughs> The sole creator, um, you know, designer, programmer, music, art. Vin Diesel did everything on this game. And he was, it's not even like Fisher Price wanted to make this game and they got Vin Diesel to do it. It's like Vin Diesel just sat there with the Fisher Price catalog and like made this game all right it kinda looks like it should go that way <laughs> it's kind of enigmatic well that's the whole this whole game is enigmatic Right, I feel like there's some sort of puzzle hidden here w within the puzzle. Right. And, um... I mean, I know what it is, because I've played this game for hours, and if you play it long enough, it sort of just comes to you, the answer, you know? Well, uh, I haven't played it for that long, I haven't uh, gotten all the achievements yet, so uh, don't ruin it for me. Yeah, I'm, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna tell you, I'm gonna let you and our viewers try and figure it out for yourselves. I mean, I, I kind of took a peek at a strategy guide for it. I just started mentioning some things about, like, some sort of ancient ruins and whatnot, and I was just like, ah, alright, I can't figure this out right now. Okay, new game, new players, new level knew everything. We should read the instructions again just to be on the safe side, right? In case we <laughs> forgot. to level three. Now level three is different from level two. Me do your best. In some way, I don't really know what it was. I wasn't paying attention during the... Oh yeah. <laughs> Come on. Well, there are more things here and there's probably less time you have to work with too. Yeah, that's probably, probably what it is. Um, probably a big struggle going on here. I think it's gonna get intense. More so than it is already, of course. I don't know if you can tell this just by watching, 
but this game doesn't allow for any kind of diagonal movement at all. It would be easier if uh, it allowed you to use a mouse peripheral or something, or the uh, duck hunt gun. Oh, well, that, that would be awesome. Nintendo Zapper. Right, colloquially known as the, uh, the duck hunt gun. <laughs> A hush falls over the crowd. A G is flipped, and flipped the otherwise, placed perfectly centered over the silhouette of the G. Truly, he is a master. And up next we have me. Is this? What? Oh. That's a baby's first... Yeah. No, I'm not entirely sure that is myself. The hot dog and glue again? I don't know what that is. It's kind of the mystery item, you know? Right. Is that a secret revealed to you when you beat the uh, game completely? Yeah, when you completely beat the game, that is replaced by the, uh, the secret item. Okay. The secret object. You know, I'm looking forward to it. Um, I have only a couple of achievements left. And I need to get them by playing the game online. Although, quite often I uh, have to deal with hackers when playing online. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. People cheating at perfect fit. Yeah, it's kind of sad, really, what happened to the perfect fit community. I mean, you know, I've been playing this game since back in the day. And it, it used to mean something, you know. And now we're on to the final round. Alright, a perfect fucking vacuum. Perfect fucking. I don't know what that is exactly. I think it's a webcam. Ooh, nice. Mind your P's and Q's. You are a champion. This game really makes you feel good about yourself, you know? Um, baby's first dildo? I had to include some kind of joke about genitalia somewhere in there. <laughs> it's got a smiley face on it. Baby's first Rolodex. <laughs> Baby's first um, meat slicer. <laughs> he did it! A perfect fit! Alright. That's it, right? <laughs> yeah, I think we've 100%ed uh, the game. Should we uh, demo what happens if you run out of time? Oh, yeah, yeah, sure. Okay. 
I'll just do the same game, same players. And, uh, yeah, I'll just, just fast forward here. Well, that's not nearly fast enough. It's, it's, it's pretty fast. Yeah. Uh. I guess I'll just keep playing. I want to play it. kind of hard to get it. Hurry! <laughs> it's it's kind of hard to get it there. Yeah, this uh, added level of challenge. Although the challenge is already extremely high. Is there an achievement for this? Playing the game in fast forward mode with an emulator? Yes. Yes, there is. Come on! Get in there, you stupid sunglasses. Alright. Um. Babies first. Uh. What is that? Jukebox? Is this a CD player? Old timey Victrola? Come on. No, no. Come on, get in the spot. Get in there. It's really hard to uh, finesse it into the spot when you're uh, in fast forward mode. And it says, you are the stupidest baby on the planet, I hope you catch fire. So that's it. That's, uh... That's a perfect fit. Um, oh, I'm really out of time! Thanks for joining us. Uh... And, uh, yeah, maybe later, if, if we're feeling generous, we'll show you the, uh, the secret bonus mystery piece you get for, uh, unlocking all this, the achievements and everything. Ah! And, uh, if you, but if you paid close enough attention, you should already know, you know, part of the, the puzzle. Right, right. Um, the the, the puzzle. Uh, 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 I want it fit. I mean, just keep watching the video over and over again until you figure it out. Keep your eyes open, and uh, we'll see you next time. Thanks. You gotta, you gotta flip it turn wise. Huh? Okay, okay. Thanks. I'm not fitting still. Go, man, go. Oh, no. Oh, wow. It's crazy. <laughs> it's amazing. I can't believe it. Oh, right, right. <laughs> wow. Stop? I guess.